Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we're going to do an ABX guide for Mail Blast Hero Day, and we're going to be using Cable in this uniform. Now I know it sucks that a lot of you don't have the uniform, or you didn't want to buy because Netmarble was too freaking greedy, and just wanted full price for this uniform, they never put it on discount, so I can't blame anybody for not buying it. That is for sure. But you can't deny the power of the thing. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's a whole lot easier to play, especially in ABX. I mean, if you're ABX focused and you have this uniform, you're freaking loving life. This thing is sweet. Easier to play, the automatic damage accumulation instead of the damage that you have to take. Uh, it's just sweet. And this is a team that you want to run with on Mail Blast Hero Day. You want to use Coulson for his 45% damage dealt to villains. The guaranteed critical rate isn't going to help Cable at all because he already has guaranteed critical rate in his passive. And guaranteed critical rates do not stack on top of each other. And as far as Star-Lord, you just want to have him for his leadership, the 55% increase of energy attack. And that's only with this uniform. He doesn't need to be tier 3. Just have this uniform to get the 55% increase of energy attack. Or just put Star-Lord in there to have some extra energy attack for the leadership. And now let's take a look at my Cable's build. I have improved his build quite a bit since the last video. And it really surprises me that I'm actually ranked almost 5,500. That means a lot of people actually bought the uniform and ranked it up. So I guess a lot of people are very happy with it and felt it was worth those over 1,700 crystals. So, okay, cool. He has 43,000 energy attack. He has 128 attack speed, pretty close to max out. 2% wouldn't really make that much difference. He has 45% crit rate, which is actually the sweet spot because he gets 30% crit rate from his second skill. And he has 180 critical damage. This is completely fine. If this was at 170% in this uniform, it would be fine because he gets 30% critical damage when he uses his fist skill from the uniform effect. He also has max ignore defense and max skill cooldown. As far as his Urus, I do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Odin's Blessings. I do have uh, Mythic Energy Attack Urus. Most of the Urus are Mythic, as you can see. Except for this critical damage here, I'll actually probably end up replacing these here with some different Odin's Blessings because I don't need it. I actually have 10% more critical damage than what I need. And maybe replace this Ignore Defense one here because I still can get more Ignore Defense from his third uniform bonus. And Cable's a pretty simple character to play. Here he has that Guaranteed Critical Rate, which I was talking about earlier. As far as Coulson's, won't stack on top of this one, so it doesn't matter that Coulson has a Guaranteed Critical Rate. Uh, the one, the two doesn't really matter. All you're really doing is you're going to be using the, well, the two does matter, is you're going to be using the two so you can get this crit rate buff by 30%. So if you have 45% crit rate, you'll max out your crit rate. This is very important to do more critical hits. It's also very important because it's the silence skill. It has a two second silence. And as far as we know so far, this is the only thing that can cancel a beast roar. So you have to time the roars perfectly in order to silence the beast. Cable is by far one of the easiest characters, in my opinion, in the game to cancel roars with. His, his silence just works really well. Uh, the force skill, you're going to get that all defense down. It will apply to the beast for a short moment. Sorry, buddy, not right now. For a short moment, but not for the full eight second duration. The, the fifth skill has the five seconds of invincibility, which is good so you don't get guard broken. And of course, the third skill has this damage accumulation based on how much damage you deal. And this is really a big reason why this uniform does so well in ABX. You're not trying to take damage. You're not trying to let the beast jump at you. There's no real, there's no extra RNG involved. It's just run through your rotations and you're going to get the automatic damage accumulation because it's based on how much damage you deal and not how much damage you take, which is sweet. So as far as the rotation, it's pretty easy with this uniform. Wait for Cable to sit down. There we go. Or stand up. All you got to do is hit the third skill, shoot his gun up in the air, boom, then hit the four, then two, five. And that's it. Put the damage proc on the fifth skill, and that's all she wrote. And then when it comes before the time that you're actually going to do the silence, you know, during the, the beast will roar usually around two minutes and eight seconds, a minute, 18 seconds, or a minute and 16 seconds, depending on whether or not he got stunned by the giant meteor. And then he'll usually roar maybe 38 seconds to 35 seconds, depending on whether or not he's jumping around and the last time he roars. So you want to make sure you always have that second skill ready before the beast gets ready to roar before those times. He has a fully awakened Power of Angry Hawk set. 
and I do have a CTP of energy uh, with a low critical damage, which is sweet. You know, I have 180% critical damage right now. I only need 170 because we're going to get 30% critical damage from his uniform effect. So this is something that's really nice. Say you have this uniform. Say you don't have a CTP of energy and you don't have a CTP of rage. You could just put a regular low critical damage uh, damage proc obelisk on this guy and he would still do fantastic because he can silence the beast roars cable's freaking insane he really is he's the only character that can max out abx as far as i know with a ctp of energy which is insane now i'm not going to max out the score because i still need to build him up a little bit more but we'll definitely put up a pretty decent score and he has a legendary uniform and this is something that's hurting me because it isn't maxed out it's not a mythic i'm not getting that last stat to get that extra all attack we are getting a little dodge from the first uniform it doesn't really matter to be perfectly honest unless you had a rage and this is something that's nice i don't even have to level up this uniform to max out his stats this next one i do want to max this one out one because namor is going to be an abx guy or is an abx guy and it's going to give extra energy attack for Cable. Then this next uniform, I could actually increase the level up this uniform a little bit, give me a little extra ignore defense. That way I can replace one of the Urus that I have in one of my slots. And then we have a little dodge here that's really not going to matter. And then the next uniform is Psylocke, which I actually have at Mythic. So if I get this, get him up to Mythic, I'll get a lot of extra, you know, 500 more all attack, a little extra attack from the stats. Actually, if I had that, he probably would have maxed out the score. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the ABX run. I'm going to slow it down every time we do the beast roar. So you all can see the timing that I'm using, how I use the second skill and when I use it. So let's jump into the action and let's rock and roll. So I'm going to run through the rotation as I do this, the timing that I'm going to be using. And the thing about Cable that is really kind of a pain is he gets rude when he does his fifth skill. So we're going to hit that three, four, two, five. Now, when there's two seconds left on that fifth skill, we're going to hit that third skill again. You see, there's there's the two. We're going to hit the third skill. And I let it play a little bit longer. If I don't see a meteor coming down, I'll let it play a little bit longer, try to get a little extra damage. But usually when there's two seconds left on the fifth skill, that's when you're going to hit the third skill. There we go. And that's really the thing, you know. If you get stunned by the meteors, that really sucks. And sometimes it's almost unavoidable. But... You know, you, you might have to do this in a few runs so you can get the maximum score. Just because of that, silencing the beast actually isn't all that difficult. And you're going to notice I'm not going to use the second skill now because we're coming up on that 208 mark. So now I'm just using 3, 4, 5, and we're going to wait. So we're going to slow it down here. And you see 208, there I hit the, the second skill to silence the beast. You see the frost beast skin hardens, but you don't see the red icon, the strongman icon above the meteor bar. And I look, I'm going to keep the proc on the fifth skill. You pretty much want to hit that second skill pretty quick. Almost cancel it into the other skills. That way you can silence the beast and still try to keep the proc on the fifth skill if you can. If your, fix, if your fifth skill, if the proc gets off, then you want to just restart your entire rotation. Which does kind of suck, but that's really the best way to go about it. And we already hit 3.1 million here. We're not even at three and a half or a minute and a half mark. So I think it's possible with this build, he might be able to hit 7 million, but it would take a perfect run. Perfect. Everything would have to fall into place, which is practically impossible. It just doesn't happen like that. Now, I'm not going to use the second skill again because we're coming up on that minute 18 mark. Now, the beast has been stunned. So we're going to silence the beast at a minute 16. So here we hit a minute 16. We're going to hit the second skill, right? Now we're going to hit the third skill, the fourth skill, and then the fifth skill and put the proc back on the fifth skill again we're keeping the proc on the fifth skill during the entire run against the beast and again if you if your proc does miss if you use the second skill and it triggers the proc you're just going to have to start your rotation all over you know and sometimes the beast jumps at you sometimes you get interrupted another way to avoid getting after interrupted is just hitting your third skill because it is an iframe you won't get interrupted sometimes when the beast jumps at you you might want to hit the third skill let the beast jump at you, then hit the four, then the two, five. Everything just really depends on what the beast is doing. Now, I'm not going to use the second skill right now because we're coming up on that 38 second mark. And if the beast isn't jumping at you, really about 38, 37, the, here I'm doing it at 37 seconds. I hit the silence. 
And you see now my proc is actually off. I hit the silence during the proc. So we're actually going to wait a little bit, wait for the three to get off cooldown. We're going to start that rotation over, and now we're going to put the proc back on the fifth skill. So the third time, we didn't get it quite what we wanted, but it's fine. It is what it is. These things happen. And boom, you see the score I got in the top right-hand corner. I got 6.1 million. We're definitely going to beat that right now. And I did have to do this quite a few times. Silencing the beast isn't that hard with Cable. It's really just avoiding getting stunned, getting interrupted by the beast when he jumps at you. Sometimes that's kind of a pain. Come on, Cable. You can do it. So we were able to almost hit 6.6 .6 million. If this uniform was at Mythic and I had those extra stats, pretty sure I probably would have got the 7 million mark. So let me know how you're all doing in ABX and let me know if this helped you out and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.